Hey everybody, welcome to another tiny video. This one's going to be about the mystery box. Here we go. So if you've never done the mystery box before, what you're going to do is take a, a shoe box or something similar and just kind of decorate it, put some question marks on it, make it a mystery. Um, and students will try and use uh, 20 yes or no questions to try and figure out what's in the box. So depending on what you decide to put in there, uh, teachers should think about, um, you know, why you put that in there is there a you know common misconception or is it going to launch uh or more like an activator into a new lesson so teachers need to think about why they're putting that certain thing in the box um do you want to build suspense throughout the class so it's kind of fun to sort of leave it there and be like mm, i wonder what's in here and then just keep teaching or having them do an activity uh so building that mystery and them really wanted to know what's in there uh, another cool thing about this uh, strategy is thinking about the types of questions you ask so that's one thing that students uh, sometimes don't sort of have that meta thought process of what might be some good questions to start with? Why would I not ask super specific ones at first uh, and sort of having that conversation out loud with the students? Um, and then, like I said at the beginning, uh, choosing um, what particular object will be in there is pretty key. So here's an example that I used to use in the classroom. Um, I got some spam and I put it in the box. Um, and if you want to just take a guess what I was using this for, go ahead. But um, I was trying to connect it to World War II and thinking about the geography. So spam kind of started as a cheaper way to have meat, but also the, the huge connection with geography of World War II is it has a longer shelf life, right? So getting um, food uh, across the globe essentially uh, was a very, very key part. So getting them to not only just Try and guess what's in the box, but then also making a deeper connection after you have the grand reveal. So the mystery box, uh, make one for yourself, uh, build a suspense throughout the class, uh, have students think about the types of questions they're asking, uh, think very deeply about the object that you put in there. Um, and then once you reveal that object, connect it to larger concepts. Hopefully that helps and thanks for watching.